Hello, welcome. My name is Tracy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to make this gorgeous card and it is using some new products from the new annual Stampin' Up! catalogue. It's also featuring some of our carryover items from our previous catalogues. So the design series paper is called Garden Lane. It is a new product and a new paper pack that's in the uh, catalogue. We're also using this twine which is part of a um, ribbon combo pack uh, it's called um, Magnolia Lane combo pack now some of our carryover items are the corrugated embossing folder and we're also using the rooted in nature stamp set and the matching dies that come with it as well so let's bring in some of those products that we have used in this card we have the rooted in nature stamp set it is a two-piece pack there is 16 cling stamps in in this set. Also the dies that come with it are the Nature's Root Framelots and we are just using um, the framelot for this leaf image here. I have the corrugated embossing folder, the Magnolia Lane Ribbon Combo. It has a Sahara Sand textured ribbon as well as this gorgeous um, Baker's twine. Um, well, it's not really Baker's twine, but it's a twine. So this is a combo pack. The inks for today's card are mint macaron, garden green, and old olive. And we're also using some of the metallic pearls in the gold. So that's a carry on carry over item as well. I have the card kit here all ready to go. All the measurements and supplies can be found over my blog and there is a link to my blog in the description of this video. There's also a link to my online store if you would like to purchase any of your Stampin' Up! supplies you can do so in my online store. Pop in the hostess code and I can send you out a free gift on top. And I also offer Inky Rewards. Um, you can check that out over my blog as well. So we have Old Olive is our card base. We have a piece of Sahara Sand cardstock which we're going to emboss the bottom part we have the garden lane designer series paper and that's the other side that's pretty on that side isn't it we have a piece of old olive card base for um, our leaf image and we also have a piece of whisper white that we're going to stamp that wood slice as well so I'm going to bring in uh, and do our stamping first then we can bring our big shot in and do our embossing and cutting. So we're starting off with the mint macaron ink and I'm just going to ink up that wood slice. It's a nice big piece of whisper white there so there's plenty of room and there is no dye for um, this image so we're going to fussy cut that one out. While we have that out I'm going to bring the sentiment in and the sentiment says you are wonderful and we're stamping that in the garden green ink ink that up and I'm just going to stamp that in the middle now this will lighten slightly once it dries it comes off really quite dark at the start but both the mint macaron and the garden green um, just gets a little bit lighter once it dries so we're going to bring in the old olive ink pad last and there's not a lot of um, stamping on this it's a pretty quick and easy card and we have our old olive uh, cardstock and I'm just going to ink up this leaf image and this can either be cut out with the, the dies or you can fussy cut it if you want to do that as well but because we've got the big shot out to do um, the corrugate embossing folder I'm going to cut out this die image as well so let's bring the big shot in and I'm going to quickly open this up bringing the Sahara sand card base in or cardstock in and I'm just going to place this probably a third of the way through maybe a bit more than a third about that much and I'm going to run this one through 
the big shot. Now that gives us just that embossing down the bottom, which gives it a really nice effect. Bringing in that leaf image, and I'm going to bring that framelit in to match that image. We're going to just quickly cut that one out as well. I'm going to flip that one over. Let's just run that one really quickly through. And that's all we need the big shot for. So let's pop the big shot out of the road. Bring in all our pieces. And I'm gonna fussy cut this one out really quickly. This doesn't take very long at all. I'm leaving a little bit of a white edge around. That was really quick and easy to do. I'm going to glue our design series paper straight down onto the Sahara sand cardstock. Leaving a bit of a border all the way around. I'm also going to quickly glue on that wood slice. And I'm overlapping that just slightly down the bottom. Now nothing's being popped up on the card. We're going to pop up with dimensionals the Sahara sand piece. I'm just going to stick this on top just to bring all those colours together. I'm bringing in that twine that we have, this one here. I'm just going to wrap that round a few times and tie a bow on the left hand side. Let's wrap that round. I think I'll need that probably about three times. Yeah, I think three times is good. So let's tie a, a knot first. And I'm just going to um, knock off that excess bit and tie a nice little bow. This is a quick card. It's really showcasing that designer series paper, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's a lot of nice greens and images. And I do have the stamp set that goes with this, the Verdant Garden, I think it's called. And I will be doing a video with that coming up. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut off those tails just slightly. Don't need them quite so long. Beautiful. So let's pop some dimensionals on the back of that card there and we'll just pop that straight down onto the old olive designer, no sorry, the old olive card base. Okay, taking all our backings off. I'm actually just going to put another one on the back 
in the middle. This needs a little bit more support because the corrugate actually makes it warp slightly. So let's take all those off. Popping that down onto the card base and then we're just left to pop on our embellishments. So I'm going to bring in those pearl metallic or metallic pearls in the gold. And we're just going to pop three down on that wood slice. Do so these work really well with the colours? Stick one down there. And that's the card for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's card. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you left me a comment. All the measurements and supplies can be found over my blog, so go and check that out. You can also sign up to a newsletter, a monthly newsletter over on my blog or sign up for the blog posts to be delivered straight to your inbox. Until next time, have a wonderful day and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.